Dataflow server provides a Titan integration with some of the best monitoring systems such as uh, Prometheus and um, InfluxDB. Out of the box, um, you can declaratively enable the usage of any of those uh, uh, time series databases and when enabled, um, the deployed uh, streams can collect and report uh, real-time metrics to the selected uh, database, metrics database, and in turn you can leverage one of the uh, tooling, uh, dashboard tooling such as Grafana to uh, analyze and visualize the collected metrics. Here now we're going to demonstrate how you can start and uh, uh, collecting metrics, real-time metrics from your streams using InfluxDB, time series database, and some um, uh, provided out of the box provided dashboards for Grafana to uh, analyze and visualize the internals of your running streams. We are going to use the uh, getting started tutorial using the Docker Compose way to set up the entire infrastructure. Just uh, download the Docker Compose script. You have to set the uh, Dataflow version and uh, Skipper version we, you're going to use. I'm going. Uh, I'll, I'll stick here with the snapshot versions. Let's bootstrap and uh, create. This would uh, effectively create uh, our desired deployment um, architecture, data flow server, skipper for managing the streams, um, each of the uh, deployed app starters within the stream when the monitoring is uh, enabled, in our case it's monitoring with InfluxDB, would uh, leverage the built-in micrometer library in order to collect the desired metrics, send them to the InfluxDB database, and in turn uh, uh, our Grafana uh, uh, dashboarding system is configured to uh, analyze, to query and uh, visualize the content of this InfluxDB. We have our system in place. Now we can go and create our streams. Let's create a very simple one. Our stream has been deployed. Now we can use the handy button that would redirect us to the um, dashboard showing the, the, the content, the real-time data is collected from this stream itself. Bracket opening the Grafana. The default credentials are admin for the username and password as a password. We can skip creating a new account. Usually it takes about a half a minute for the first uh, set of uh, metrics to, to be sent from the application streams uh, to the real system. So now I can see that we have already two applications running. Uh, you have some generic um, metric CPU, the memory, the threads, files. Then you can have uh, their application breakdown uh, that would visualize the throughput the input and output channels uh, for each of the running application. In, in our case, we have the time sync application, so it uh, actually has output channel and the log uh, uh, time source, time source, and the log sync, which is actually a sync, and it has an input channel. And we can uh, explore the throughputs of those uh, two channels, which give us some indication of the healthiness of the systems, as well as some latencies uh, uh, for those uh, input and output channels. Furthermore, you can explore some internals of the uh, application starters like the message source, the handlers. Those, those metrics come from the uh, Spring integration uh, support for micrometer, so out of the box. You can, um, for example, explore the content of, let's say, the throughput channel. See that we are using the, mic, I mean, the InfluxDB uh, uh, query language. SQL-like uh, language and uh, we are consuming the Spring Integration Send metric. So this is the metrics that already has been provided by the Spring Integration. Uh, what Spring Cloud Flow out in the, uh, adds in addition is uh, uh, those uh, 
uh, labels or tags like the stream name, the application name, the application GUID, which would help us to slice and uh, group and uh, aggregate the metrics that come from the different streams into different views to, to, to be able to see, uh, for example, uh, for the entire stream, this one, or for particular application, in this case only the log application. Even if you have multiple instances for each application, you can even go and uh, uh, narrow and uh, drill down to, to the particular instance you want to monitor. And this concludes uh, this video.